man, I've never seen a shoe like that, man. That's the craziest shoe we've ever seen. Grab it. Let's do a review session with Jay Lando. What's up? What's good, YouTube? You're with Jay Lando, and welcome to another episode of Review Sessions. So we're at part two of Air Max Day Worldwide. I have two more videos that are going to be dropping probably next week, so make sure to hit those notification bells so you can be up to date with what's going on with Jay Lando and all the sneakers. Now, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe, like, and comment because all your participation is really helpful, and I appreciate all the love you guys give. So thank you so much for supporting the channel. Now, without further ado, we have our Air Max 90 Bacon. Now this sneaker released March 26, which is Air Max Day worldwide, for a retail price of $140. Now if you guys can't tell, we have some pretty interesting colors, which happen to look a lot like bacon. So let's get into this thing. <laughs> let's start with the box it's a classic black Nike box and you can see that the symbol is glossy so it reads Nike Air Max 90 energy sale sheen straw I'm assuming for strawberry medium brown size 10 I'm actually a size 10 and a half but that's what I hit on on sneakers so I'll take it and it also runs a little bit big so it fits me perfect inside the box it comes with a set of art supports which is original to the Air Max 90 release. And then we have two sets of laces, one in red, one in pink, which is supposed to resemble bacon. Now getting into the details of this shoe, what I love about it most is the premium qualities, of course, but the history behind it, which has drawn me to the sneaker culture to begin with. Now this originally came out in 2004. The designer's name is David Ortiz, who owned Dave's Quality Meats in New York. It was a premium sneaker store that basically looked like a butcher shop. So when you walked in, it had all the shoes displayed all over the place, but to be more like meat. So when he was originally contacted by Nike to design this shoe, the only thing that he could think of was trying to make a shoe resemble something from meat. And he came up with bacon because everybody loves bacon. I suggest that you watch like his YouTube story about this shoe because it's really cool. And David Ortiz is the man anyway. So shout out to David Ortiz. So getting into the details of this shoe. Now it's supposed to look like a piece of bacon and there's a lot more going on than what you would think if you don't really know from David Ortiz what his idea behind this design was. Now, I wanna eat this thing but I already had my bacon for breakfast, so there you go. Now at the top of the toe box, we have a white tumble leather that's also in the ankle portion and for the mud guard, which is an tumbled suede material right here. And that's supposed to be the fatty portion of a slab of bacon. For the top of the toe cap overlay, we have a premium suede that moves to the mid and that also is supposed to represent the lean piece of bacon. For the brown parts of the shoe, you can see on the back heel and for the mid and then the Air Max symbol, also the eyelets, we have the cooked, burnt cuts of the bacon. And for the pink portions, which is the swoosh and the tongue, which is in a nylon, and for the back Nike Air, you can tell that it's the uncooked fatty portions of the bacon. And on the inner lining, we have this leather material that's in a tan colorway also the same as the shoelaces and that is supposed to represent that medium cooked part of the bacon and we have the outsole which is burnt of course now that's pretty much the shoe and i love it so let me know what you guys think i'm about to give this a solid 8.6 out of 10 on the lando meter ding 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 and that's what I'm sticking to. That's what I got. 
Now make sure to subscribe, like, and comment for your boy because I love you guys showing the support and interacting on the channel. It really helps. So I appreciate all of that. Now I'm about to do my second on foot. So let's get into it.